Oke, okay, good morning class. Good afternoon, good evening. I hope you are in a good condition for this situation, especially for pandemic situation. I hope we can meet each other in one time. Well, for this meeting, we are talking about testing speaking and I hope you have already familiar with the term of testing and speaking uh, well in testing speaking there are some aspects that we have that we have to know and the description of each aspect in order to score the the ability of speaking okay the first things it is about task achievement task achievement uh, the description can be seen in the follow giving and seeking personal views and opinions in formal and formal situations confidence in dealing with up unpredictable elements in conversations expressing ideas clearly and effectively with a high degree of fluency and appropriacy it is score 3 giving and justifying opinions when discussing matters of personal and topical interest effective interactions in discussions adaptation of language to deal with some unprepared situations it is score 2 active participation in discussion but when discussion concern complex and unfamiliar area there are problems to follow the discussion and implement tasks it is called one inadequate answer bearing little or no relation to the task no logical structure it is point zero the next aspect is fluency Fluent mastery of language, very few long pauses, general meaning clear, very few interruptions necessary, score 4. Clear and effective communication, a few unnatural pauses, few inter interruptions, usually necessary but intention is clear, score 3. Component communication making themselves understood with a little or no difficulty Using the language to meet most of needs for the for information and explanation Some interruption necessary Longer process to stretch work for or meaning Score 2 Basic communication Short conversation Seeking and conveying information in simple terms, unnaturally long pauses, score 1. Communication full of voices or silent, very healthy delivery, score 0. The next aspect in language is in use or grammar. Accurate mastery of grammar, minor mistakes, phrases and well structured language, score 4. A high degree of accuracy, a few grammatical errors but most sentences correct, score 3. Generally good usage of grammar, a few grammatical errors but only one or two causing confusion, score 2. Quite a few mistakes in grammar. Some effort cause confusion. Score 1. Basic grammar error causing misunderstanding or serious confusion. Score 0. The last aspect is vocabulary, pronunciation, and intonation. Accurate mastery of vocabulary. Not much searching for words. Consistently accurate pronunciation, possibility to vary intonation score 4. 
appropriate in use of vocabulary, sometimes searching for words, speaking confidently with a good pronunciation and intonation, score. 3. Generally good usage of vocabulary, searches for words, good pronunciation and intonation, score 2. Quite a few mistakes in vocabulary which sometimes interfere with communication, limited expression, a few pronunciation errors, score 1. Limited expression, several serious pronunciation error, score 0. Well, as we have already learned in the previous meeting, that the characteristics of test, they are validity and reliability. Well, now let's see. In order to see the characteristics, let's see here from the task achievement, uh, the maximum score rate it is 3. However, for the second aspect, it is 4. And the third aspect, it is 4. And then, the last aspect, it is 4. It means that 3 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 equal 15. It means that if the score is 15, the result of the speaking is 100. Now let's see how to find out the point for each from the 15 score. Point 1 equal 6.6 score. It means that if students A get a 10 in score of speaking, 10 times 2 6.6 equal uh, 60.60. The, the score is 60.60. So, uh, you are as a teacher candidate need to know that. You need to have a clear plan in scoring your student. I hope uh, you can implement it if you are as a teacher in your future later on. Okay, I hope that's all for this meeting. I hope you can understand what I mean. I hope you can implement it in your PPL or in your profession for the next time. I think that's all. Goodbye. Keep help. See you in the next time.